There we go. All right, well, if you listen to this on the recording later, uh, welcome to Mailbag. We'll start in just a minute. Uh, meanwhile, I'll turn off the mic for just a second so I can drink something. Okay, I think the mic should be on. I'm just watching myself sit down over there. 30 seconds delayed. Make sure we can see everything okay. It seems that way. And it's just about time to start. We have a lot of mail. Uh, a lot of mail. <laughs> uh, so, here's what I'm thinking is we're going to do mailbag today for about an hour. Then we're going to do mailbag tomorrow, uh, Sunday, uh, yeah, and then Monday is Christmas Day, right? Let me just, let me recheck my calendar here because I really know what I'm doing all the time. Uh, let's see, I, by the way, I've been saying let me check my calendar uh, when, I, when I'm telling DJ I need to go in and check on the mom cat and the kittens. It's fun. So yeah, Monday is Christmas Day. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an hour today and then we're going to try to do uh, whatever's left over tomorrow. Um, and then on Christmas Day, I think what we'll do is open the stuff that people sent, because DJ's not going to be here today or tomorrow. She's uh, working, um, but I think she's got Monday off, I, I think. So assuming that's true, she'll be here to open some of this stuff with me. Um, and that way, um, if there's anything that we just we still haven't gotten to at the end of the day tomorrow, we can also move that to Christmas morning. Um, and I know not everybody's going to be able to watch on Christmas morning, but, you know, there's a lot of people that also can't watch on Sunday. So, um, you know, I don't think uh, splitting it up is, is going to be, uh, you know, significantly worse for anybody, I hope. I'm, I'm sorry if it is. Uh, but uh, thanks to the wonderful um, volunteers that are uploading these things and uh, um, managing to keep me somewhat on task with getting them to that far. You know, all I have to do is turn something on over here once in a while. Um, thanks to them anyway, those mailbags will be uploaded in finite time. So uh, if you can't watch tomorrow or on um, Christmas Day, then you'll still have a way to see that later. Uh, which reminds me, um, for the people that are on our Discord, uh, I think that tonight is the annual Superlative Awards at 6 o'clock, uh, K-A-T-Z. Uh, with the Jimmy, and that's that's um, unlike our Christmas video, which was able to go out to everybody. I'm pretty sure the superlatives have always just been for people that are on our Discord or Patreon. So, um, if you're not on the Discord, um, uh, sorry, I guess. <laughs> uh, which you know, it's fine. But um, but yeah, that's that's tonight at six, and I'm really looking forward to it myself. It's going to be great. It's great every year. DJ and I just love it. Uh, I know she's going to want to see it too. She was already complaining to me that. She might have to watch it uh, after the fact because I think she's going to be like checking out uh, at work at about the time that it's, it's going. So if you're on our Discord, though, uh, look for the link to be posted shortly before 6 p.m. And that will be uh, that'll be our fun for this evening. And then, like I said, tomorrow morning, uh, we've got the, the follow up mailbag at uh, 11 o'clock on Sundays. Don't forget that. And then on Christmas Day, I'm not sure exactly what time I'll set, but I don't want to do it too early because you know, I know people that are excited to do Christmas with their families, at least, will be up early. Um, on the other hand, we are on the East Coast, so what's not early? I don't know. Um, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'll, I'll, I'll have something planned by tomorrow uh, and let you know. All right. Uh, what else? I guess that's 
pretty much it for news. You know that uh, Wellington and Squall are getting picked up by their adopters next weekend. That's just one more week with us, and that's going to be hard to take. Uh, but it's all worthwhile, and their adopters are wonderful people. So uh, I am I'm looking forward to it in that regard. And I'm going to be real excited to know that they finally get to settle in someplace that they can live, you know. Um, I think, uh, you know, you always you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, I, I know how it is. I, maybe, maybe I'm projecting. I'm probably projecting. But, you know, uh, DJ and I moved here to this house with the idea of being here for three years during her residency. Uh, and then we've sort of put everything on hold for that to finish. Um, you know, all the other things that we might want to do or even sort of decorate the house, you know, we've just sort of done the minimum to get by. And then she started a fellowship, which is, you know, means we're here for another three years and still everything on hold because after that we're still planning on, you know, getting a different house at least, who knows. But my point being, I, I can, I feel what it's like to sort of be waiting for this big event to come so that then you can settle into the rest of your life, you know. Uh, that's how I, I imagine the kittens would feel if they had any idea what was coming, and they don't. But it'll still be nice to know that they finally uh, have managed to settle, you know, somewhere that uh, with wonderful people. So that's all good too. All right, uh, we've got a ton of uh, mail, cards, letters. I don't think we'll do all those today either. Um, but let me just double check on the Discord to make sure that everybody can hear me and I'm not just talking to myself. Now, looks like everybody can hear me okay, probably, so there we go. Okay. Well, let's get started then. I think that's all there is. Um, <laughs> I put the letters here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Just like last time, I didn't, uh, I didn't cover up the addresses on these. There's just so many of them. Oh, and let me... Uh, there we go. A little mailbag box. Oh, I should... Depending on which side I put this on, I should make sure Maggie is... There we go. I'm starting to cover this up with the magnets and stuff. Oh man, this box every time. Every time I open this, I say, "Oh, I got to clean this thing out," and then I don't. Um, wow, it's getting more and more important though. Okay, hang on. This is embarrassing. Hang on, hang on. One second here. <laughs> There's too much. You guys are too generous, and I'm not uh, getting this done in a, in a reasonable time frame here. So now this looks bad. Uh, <laughs> well, letter opener. Letter opener. Uh, well, we have options. I guess we'll just go with this one and see what happens. See how long we can make this work for us. All right. This is also a paint scraper, so that could be useful. Who knows? Maybe I got something to scrape. This is a cute, um, let's see, envelope that's decorated with uh, little bells and a Santa sticker. Okay. Inside we have a card. It's green. It's got a cat that's knocked down the Christmas tree, and uh, it had knocking around down the Christmas tree. It's uh, scratched out around and replaced it with down. Uh, the cat also has a very uh, like side eye mischievous look. And inside it says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you so much for all you do for the cats and kittens that come through your doors at Kitten Academy. You both have the patience of a saint and the heart of gold. I've been subscribed since 2017, uh, but watched consistently since the day Bebop arrived. What a delivery she had. My family wish you both a very meowy Catmas and a happy Mew Year. Amy and Bob. Uh, uh, thank you. That's Amy T. And cats Lucy, Aries, and Daisy. Aw. That's, uh, that's sweet. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, we have our Aries. That's, that's Ari's, was Ari's full name until we changed it to just Ari. Like uh, when Kentucky Fried Chicken became KFC, I guess. Uh, I think everybody knows that. Not that it's important. Okay, now, see, what did I just do? All right, good. We're still rolling. All right. <laughs> okay, I got to get used to using this tool correctly because this is not <laughs> cutting it. Literally. Okay, here we go. Oh, maybe. Okay. This is cute, too. It's a little gray kitty wearing um, costume antlers like a reindeer and popping out of a box. And it says, too late to get on the nice list? Question mark. 
Oh, this is cool. This is a this is a cool card. I better recheck the envelope to make sure nothing else fell out though, because a little thing uh, sticker fell out here. So we've got an envelope in an envelope here. Um, and let's see. It says, if it's not too late to get on the nice list, I would like to ask for a year of healthy kittens and lots and lots of purrs. Thank you for everything you do. Have the happiest of holidays. Love, Catherine, who is at Plays with Yarn. Thank you very much. And then. Uh, it says, um, there's an, like I said, an envelope in the envelope that says, P.S. Here are a few stickers of my cat, Kai. I would be honored if they were added to your pile of stickers to be used in due time. Well, the honor is literally all mine, and uh, this is so cute, too. So this is the card that we're looking at, and you can see that there's an envelope in the envelope with its own little note, and inside that are these lovely stickers of a little curled up orange and white kitten. Uh, that's those are really nice. Uh, that art is super cool. So thank you very much. I will put that right in here with all the other things I have to sort out. <laughs> um, but I really appreciate it. So there we go. I guess this uh, tile is a little too heavy to stay stuck to that lunchbox. Okay, uh, that's really sweet. Oh, there's the address on this one. Okay. Wow. Oh, I see. All right. It's, a, it's the start here that's the tricky part. It always wants to tear, and then once you got it going, it's all good. Ooh, uh, we got a three-dimensional card here. It's Santa on a scooter, and he's carrying all of his toys on a backpack this year. He's getting in shape, I guess. It says, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Hi, buddy. What are you looking at? Oh, what are you looking at? Hi, hi, hi. All right, inside it says, Dearest Mr. A and DJ, yet another year, yet another big thank you for the wonderful memories. Your hearts show us the truly warming times of helping, uh, caring, and giving another chance of life for many cats and kittens. You truly are angels, and I'm not talking about the mom cat, or am I? Uh, happy holidays, lots of purrs and spoogles for the whole academy. Uh, lot, uh, let's see, let this time be as sweet as Callie's little tiny tail. Oh, that's a sweet thought, too. Mew from Scan. Oh, thank you. Um, and I think uh, it says Scan and Nathaniel. Uh, thank you very much. And you've included a magnet for me to add here that says uh, Polska on it with, uh, oh gosh, I feel like these, I don't know, I feel like I should know what these birds are. The only thing that's coming to mind is herons, but I don't know if that's right or not. They don't really look like herons. They would have long legs, right? These guys are both kind of set on their nest, so uh, I'm not sure. Um, with these little black wings like that, I'll have to look, but it's very cute. And I have no idea what, like, say, the Polish national bird might be. I, that's something I'll have to check on, I guess. But it's very cute, and look, I put it right on the box there. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Hi, Till. Till and Serenity are both out right now. Uh, Serenity is probably watching birds. No, she's gone somewhere else. Um, they both uh, sort of have their places in the house that they seem to prefer. Till's place seems to be mostly either in... In her own room. They both love their own room a lot, which is nice. They always want to go back there after a while. Uh, not Till doesn't do it because she's sort of antisocial like Serenity is. I think she does it just more because that's where her food tends to be. Uh, but she does like to go back there too. Whereas uh, Serenity, uh, after a certain amount of time, j demands to be let into her room. Like she, she wants really badly to go in and will go and run to the door anytime she thinks that you're going by. And the minute you open it, she zooms in. Uh, you know, unless there's anything she has to avoid between her and the doorway, um, then she just looks very frustrated. <laughs> so it's cute. It makes her a little bit easier to take care of, you know, now that we know the trick of just opening the door and letting her run in. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see, we have a Christmas card here. Oh, this is so sweet. A uh, cute little family Christmas card. We wish you a holiday season and new year filled with love, laughs, and magical moments that create lifelong memories. That's super sweet. Um, and we got pictures of, uh, I think it's Charlie here. That's that's wonderful. This is from Jamestown and her family. So, uh, And the, the photos are entirely the kids. <laughs> Very sweet. 
All right, uh, I'll tuck that back here since that's more of a family card, but I, it's wonderful that you sent one. Now that's interesting though, because you know it was sent uh, domestically. Um, so I don't know exactly how that works. Maybe it was just printed and sent from Shutterfly, which is a nice thing to be able to do. Okay, let's see. Well, addressed to the Kitten Academy. Teaspoon's in there eating the food he's not supposed to eat, but he did eat a lot of his food this morning, so I think he's fine. I check him all the time to make sure that he's doing well, and he has been doing very well. I think he's sort of starting to get over his uh, digestive issues a little bit. Okay, this is a black kitten on top of the Christmas tree, and the Christmas tree is all bent over, and he's still trying to get to the star, which is now below him. Uh, inside it says, DJN Mr. A, sending happy wishes for a sweet and merry holiday. Love, Janet G, K.A. supporter. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's super sweet. It's a very cute card. Um, yeah, and, uh, and I appreciate you supporting Kitten Academy. That's nice of you. Okay, this one has, uh, I don't know, nothing distinctive that I can say about the outside. It's green. It's, oh, man. Another chance to use that same joke again? I'm just going to pass on it, all right? The, the Star Trek, um, it's green. Okay, let's see here. This is a kitty wearing very cool Christmas glasses and a bell on his tail and holding a package, and it says... Oh, hope you are feline festive. A donation has been made in the name of Kitten Academy to the San Diego Humane Society Kitten Nursery. Much love and spoogles uh, from Lapis Laz and Mr. Laz and Zoe Wash, Tasha, and Dottie. Thank you very much. I always appreciate when people uh, give to their local shelters, whether you do it in our name or not. I think that is a wonderful thing to do. They always, always need more help. Um, I've, I've never heard a uh, shelter or any other charity for that matter who's just like, no, we got we got plenty. Uh, so, so that's wonderful. Okay, this has a, uh, a pine tree that's been decorated outside in the woods somewhere with lots of snow, and it says the blessings of the season can be found all around us. Wishing you all the joy, hope, and beauty that make this time of year so special. From uh, Rose Tucker, Toby, and Tessa. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Merry Christmas to you and Dr. DJ, and may the new year be filled with joy. Congratulations to Calendar on her six little bundles of cuteness. She's a wonderful mom and takes great care of her little ones. Thank you for all you do for mom cats and non-mom cats and all their little ones. Thank you to everyone at the Academy. P.S. Sorry for the bad handwriting. Uh, from Rose, Tucker, Toby, and Tessa. Thank you very much. I didn't have too much trouble with that handwriting, so... No worries. I hear, I think that's just somebody in the litter box. All right, we'll just, uh, I kind of got to keep an ear out uh, for, for um, uh, Serenity getting a little bit like too, um, like when she, she has other cats around too much, she'll get very hissy. What, what are you doing over there? I don't trust that. Hang on, let me just, oh, I see you got a toy in there. Oh, the favorite toy. I thought maybe there was something to smell. Hopefully not. Okay, no, there's not anything to smell over here. Good, good. Santa didn't pee in the chair when he was here. Uh, <laughs> you never know with these things. Uh, this is that lobster that has been um, Drizzle's favorite toy ever since her envelope got destroyed. You can see, uh, I think you can see how wrecked it is. It's got all the filling out, and it's mostly threads at this point. Um, uh, and I had put it away for her so that it could be like a special thing, a memory for her to have when she gets adopted, but she found where I put them away, this and her envelope, and stole them both back and has uh, destroyed them even more now. So what are you going to do? All right. Oh, Drizzle, did you hear me talking about you and your toy? It's right there. Oh, she's going to keep going. Oh, Till. Okay. All right. Very cool Lunar New Year stamps on this envelope that are like this beautiful panther decorated with uh, gold. That's, that's really pretty. Okay. Uh, our note says, from Brenda, who is Baby Cakes on Discord. That's a cute name. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you for 
K-A, and for all the loving work you put into making it a special place for foster moms and their tinies. Have a beautiful Christmas and a safe 2024. Wow, 2024. Uh, this is super cute. It's a little pop-up card that is a scene of a bunch of cats around a Christmas tree and causing messes in the room, of course. Um, and uh, let's see, on the back, there's a more of the same, actually. Lots and lots of uh, little kittens. That's super fun. What are you looking at, huh? Okay, well, uh, I guess it's 1020. Maybe we should take a break from the cards and uh, start opening some boxes. <laughs> you look like you want to just knock this whole thing down. Here, go for it. Can you get that mouse out? I think Till should be just on the... Oh, she is. She just sat down in the, the view that I'm watching 30 seconds delayed. So, all right. Well, let's start opening things here. And we have... Um, first off, I set a couple things aside. One that said that it was full of chocolate and that was going to melt if I didn't open it. Um, and this one I set aside because this is specifically for Callie. And I think we all could guess what this is uh, from Sage's Handmade. That would give it away, I think. <laughs> Dill, Dill's such a kitten. Oh my goodness. She really gets fun when she's zoomy, uh, which is fairly often, actually. Okay, so, uh, oh, we have a separate, the card and the note. Well, I don't know where to start, but we'll start with the card, I think, since, uh, let's see, it was on top. Okay, this is a, uh, another winter scene outdoors with some cute little birds and a rabbit running through the snow. It says, ever so softly, the winter brings a stillness to the earth, and the holidays bring joy to our hearts. May you delight in the spirit of the season. Wishing you happy holidays and a wonderful new year. Much love, Sage. Oh, thank you. It's Sage's Handmade. And you've got this lovely Christmas ornament. I would guess that you made this. Um, but I don't know for sure. And since I'm sitting right here in front of this mostly bare tree, I'm just going to put it right on here. There we go. I don't know why this one stayed bare. DJ was supposed to come back to this project at some point, um, but you know how it is. She's as busy as anybody, so that seems like it didn't happen. Okay, and your note says... Okay, this uh, also, I think you guys know what's in here. <laughs> it says... Hi! Okay, what do you got? Here. Where is it? Oh, you went right over it. Here. Oh, get it. Oh, get it. <laughs> she is such a silly kitten. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It says, hello and happy holidays. I hope you're both doing well. Congratulations on Callie's birth going so smoothly and on the six new non-identical kittens. It's so nice of Callie to have made them all easily distinguishable for us. It's as if she knew they were going to be YouTube stars and wanted to give them every advantage. Enclosed is Callie's Kick Bunny. I thought pink would suit her nicely, and I think it turned out pretty well. It would be great if you could deploy it, and we can find out if she's a fan of the Silvervine catnip mix that I've been using. The obligatory self-promotion, my Etsy shop is sageshandmade.etsy.com, where you can find the Kick Bunny crochet pattern to make your own or message me to commission one. There are other cool things for people and cats there, too. Thank you again for creating such an amazing online community of awesome human beings. I'm so glad to be a small part of it. All right, what do you got? Okay, look, it's right here. Can you get it? Oh, which one was it? Uh, with many thanks for all you do for kittens, cats, and people, much love, Sage. P.S. I hope you and TJ enjoy the ornament. I know it's a bit late for tree decorating, but I'm pretty sure you can never have too many Christmas ornaments. Oh, thank you very much. What are you smelling right here? Do you want this? Here, okay, you got it? Uh, thank you very much. So that's Sage's Handmade, which is S-A-G-E-S, -E and then hand, H-A-N-D-M-A-D-E, uh, dot Etsy, dot com. And as always, you've, you've been sending these kick bunnies for our mom cats uh, for quite some time now, and they're wonderful. Um, some mom cats completely go for them, and others, you know, not so much. I think it just depends on the cat more than anything. But they are wonderful cat toys. Um, now, I haven't seen... She's very playful. I don't know if you guys have really... You saw her play with the feather toy the other day. That was on the micro, so I know everybody saw that. Um, Callie can be super playful, and at first she was really enjoying the catnip in her room, but I haven't seen her around it lately, so maybe she just needs something that's fresh, like this. Buddy, what are you smelling? 
Oh, he just looks right in your eyes and says, Mew. Hi, buddy. I don't know what you said that for, though. What is it you want, huh? Okay, sit right here. Try this out. So those are wonderful. Thank you so much for sending that, Sages. I, like I said, I set that one aside because I wanted to bring it to her right away. So right after mailbag, I'll make sure that she gets this. And we'll see uh, whether she wants to play with it or not. I think she will. I think she wants something big that she can kick at. Um, so we'll find out. Hey, don't lose track of this here. Oh, uh, don't put it back in there. Where did I? Here we go. Let's put it someplace you can get it. You ready? Okay, not so much. I guess it's someone else's toy now. Oh, but aren't you attentive? Such a good till. Okay. Well, uh, we do have to pick something else next, and I also set aside... Uh, well, I think I, I'm pretty sure I know, like, basically what's in this, because I recognize the return address, um, and also who it's from. It's from Fiddle, so some of you can also guess what's in it. Um, but before we get to that, I also set aside these very flat, large envelopes um, because I thought they might be the kind of thing that the kittens would want to chew on and we wouldn't want them to chew on. Uh, just, I'm guessing, I have no idea what's actually in, in any of these. Well, this one has a customs form and I just saw it, so now I have some idea what's in this thing. Uh, but, you know, putting that aside, here, let's see, we're going to use that to start it and then we're going to use this to try to get in here carefully. Hmm, really not doing the job. I thought it would. There we go. Oh, you want to chew on some letters? Okay, buddy. I think maybe it's that smell of the, the bunny that, oh yeah, he's, he's enjoying the smell of that kick bunny. But he doesn't quite know what to do with it, I can see. He's sort of licking himself and around on the tissue, getting distracted. Uh, wow, oh wow, this is a lot. Okay, uh, that's a lot of stickers. My goodness, the customs form said stickers. I didn't realize it was going to be like all the stickers. So, okay, first off, wow, uh, we do have a card right here. So we'll look at the card. Look at all these sticker sheets, though. And they're all cats. Oh, wow. Okay, there's some duplicates here. And I know uh, I was, you know, a kid in school uh, when stickers were cool. Look, stickers are still cool, but, you know, stickers were cool then, too. Uh, and... I know, uh, because I have duplicates, I can uh, trade those for other stickers that I want, uh, which is exactly what I intend to do as soon as I get back to grade school. <laughs> uh, at the rate I'm going, it, that's, that's an inevitability, actually. Uh, okay, these are cool. These are shiny, uh, very shiny. They're all cool. Uh, this is, oh, this is a sheet of, like, actual photo stickers. Oh, a couple of those. And we got tiny ones here. Wow. Oh, most of these have duplicates. Like I said, we can trade those around. Um, ooh, another shiny set. All right, the shiny ones. Uh, the shiny ones and the poofy ones, those were always the, the most treasured. Uh, they probably have even more cool stuff. And also, the scratch and sniff, that was a rarity, right? I mean, those very rarely turned up in the regular stickers. Okay. This says, relax, it's Christmas, uh, with a kitty who does, in fact, look very relaxed. And it's sort of a, a mixed uh, media painting here. The kitten seems to be uh, not a photograph, but very detailed. And then the stuff around him is sort of abstract. It's an interesting combination there. Hi, buddy. Inside it says, Greetings to the esteemed faculty, students, and staff at Kitten Academy. May the new year bring health and happiness to everyone associated with this prestigious institute. The enclosed stickers are yours to do with what you will. Endowments, decoration at KA, personal adornment. <laughs> have fun. I like that idea. I could have, now I do have enough stickers. I can just cover my laptop and my other stuff and me, uh, the room. I, we could probably do a whole room at this point. Uh, with best wishes for Christmas and the New Year from David, who is Ginger David on Patreon and Discord, and Lynn. Uh, thank you, David and Lynn. Uh, David has the, uh, the handwriting of an architect or other draftsman. Very nice. Someone probably who has worked in those sorts of fields. Um, so thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for the wonderful stickers. These are great. I think everybody got a chance to see them already, but they're very cute. This is, uh, that's a very cute set. 
actually, looking at them closer, they seem like they're almost all shiny. Some of them are just a, a little more subtle about it. But yeah, even this set, these sets are even have shiny uh, outlines. That's a lot of shiny. All right. Well, thank you so much. That will go to my collection. Um, I really need to go through this. Maybe I'll bring this upstairs with me and put it on my desk after mailbag, and I mean the box, and that way I have to go through it all, um, as though there's nothing on my desk that I've ever ignored. Okay. <laughs> all right. We got another flat one right here that I also set aside for the same reason. Um, let's see here. Okay. Well, that did not work. Let's try the other side. Uh-huh. Good thing uh, they have this tear strip on here. Oh, I see. It's a tear strip. Because <laughs> we're going to cry when it doesn't work. Uh, okay. Have yourself a meowy little Christmas. And it's a giant card with a kitten who uh, has a regretful look and is tangled up in um, Christmas tree lights. Inside, it says to the wonderful Mr. A and DJ and all feline residents at KA, wishing you a cozy and restful festive holiday full of purrs and spoogles. I hope that 2024 brings you all that you wish for. Love, Abby, who is Abby on Discord. Well, Abby, thank you very much. That is a giant card. Um, thank you. I, I, that is going to stand out, and I like the color. <laughs> it's fun. Um, I see, is that Till who's decided to try to get into the kick funny a little bit? You've got your own. I think it's in your room, Till. Well, all right. She just she wants a fresh one. <laughs> uh, Abby, thank you so much. That's a very cool card. Mm. Ooh, that's good coffee. I put a ton of the cardamom in it this, this time. It's uh, mm, very delicious. Well, okay. I think that really does it for the flat cards and the cards. This is uh, anticipated by me. It, uh, the return address says that it is from Fiddle, and it says it is from Fowler's Chocolates, uh, which has been something that I have enjoyed in years past, and I'm going to have to go slow on. I have really been uh, eating way too many truffles and chocolate and cookies, uh, all of them. Ooh, oh, oh, wow. So um, one of my, two of my favorite things and something I think that might be new uh, and a bonus. So what we have here are, first off, the Buffalo Oreos. These are chocolate covered Oreos that each also have a dark chocolate medallion on top. And they are amazing. Uh, these are really, really, really good. And it's going to be a struggle not to just eat them all at once. Uh, there's something bonus that you sent because these are Buffalo Oreos, which is uh, they've got a buffalo on the, that's what the medallion on top is. Um, we've also got the, apparently the mascot here. And this is a very cool detailed stuffed buffalo. Uh, he's, he's got a lot of detail on him and such a cute face. Wow. Um, that's, that's awesome. So he goes with the Oreos quite well. Then we have... Another favorite that I had never had before, I think, uh, Fiddle got it from Fowler's for the first time I had ever been exposed to it. I guess it's not too much to look in, uh, look at in here. They just like, like chocolate cubes, but it is sponge candy. Uh, sponge candy the, uh, from Fowler's. If you've never had sponge candy, uh, it's basically uh, toffee, but it's been foamed, so it's got a real different texture to it. Um, it's, uh, it is like a foam made uh, toffee sort of a thing, then covered in chocolate, uh, and it is awesome. Uh, so that's called a honeycomb uh, sometimes too, I think, if you make it with um, like a more of a honey flavor, or maybe that's just another name for it entirely. I can't remember right now. And it's not important because they're all delicious. Uh, then this is an unlabeled uh, bag of spice candy, uh, spice drops, Christmas spice drops, which are gumdrops, of course, that have a little bit of a, a heat to them, which is also fun. So that, I'm not sure if we've had those before or not, but I think, I, I know I've had, I know I've had them before, I just don't know if I've had the Fowler's ones before, I can't seem to remember that, um, but I know they're going to be awesome. 
thank you so much for this. I, I really do appreciate it, and it's tempting to have some right now because they look so good. Uh, but I didn't do any exercising yesterday, so I'm already feeling like I'm behind a little bit, and I'll have to do that first to earn some of these. Uh, and then I'll just eat them all, I'm sure, like I do. Um, once you get started, you know, it's hard to stop. <laughs> um, but it's all good. All right, so what next? Uh, I guess now we can just reach for anything. Now, these I set out here only because they are all decorated, so it would be a shame to open them all uh, right now. Uh, we've got three boxes here that have just a ton of stickers on them. And uh, good, those addresses are staying covered up, though. Okay, scoot it on over a little bit. All right, so let's, uh, let me stand up for a second and just pull some other boxes here to within arm's reach. Hang on. I don't know why I brought this paper over here. Where There, I just put it right in the trash can. What was that noise? It got all of our attention. I saw you looking, Sprout. What was it? Must have been upstairs somewhere. Okay, let's grab just another stack here. Uh, we'll make another stack. We'll take one of these, too. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't want to just save all the big stuff for tomorrow, though, especially since we're probably going to need one to start sorting things in. Oh, I got a sticker on me. Look at that. Self-adornment. And this is self-self-adornment. It just jumped right on me. I don't really have any place I can put it except like, oh, on my face, and it fell off there, too. Okay, well, what are you going to do? Let's see here. I'm trying to pick a box that looks to me like it might have uh, some extra space in it. So once we get it going, let's see. This one looks like a, looks like a candidate. Hmm. All right, let's try this one first. Actually, we'll start right here. What are you doing there, Squall? You like those strings. Now, we're not going to leave them out, but you can have fun while I'm watching. Ooh, all I see inside is the word coffee. That's got to be good. Wow. Uh, it says, this is interesting, it says, Smile Paws Coffee Unpack Happiness. Oh, I don't know how those things go together, but I'm excited to find out. Oh, okay. As you can see, now you're seeing what I saw. Coffee, Smile Paws. And there is a note, and because we got the Amazon box in a box, we also got just what we wanted. A big empty box into which we can place other things for the kittens that we open. There we go. Put it back there a little bit out of camera view. I can just throw things at it. Dear Mr. A and DJ saw this and right away thought of you. Have a wonderful holiday and thanks again for what you do. It's changed my life for the better as I now foster kitties. Amazing experiences. From Ionice on Discord. I hope I'm saying your name right. It's I-O-N-N-I-S-E, Ionice. Um, that's how I hear it in my head anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's see. I think this must be some coffee-related kitten play thing, which is cool. I don't know that, I, I don't know that we've ever had anything that was coffee-related for the kittens, except for a couple blankets that say coffee. I can't think of anything else off the top. I mean, you know, some, okay, I guess we've had, a, like, you know, the... Um, pumpkin spice latte toys a few times, so that makes sense. Uh, all right, so it's some kind of a cat house. Is it a coffee shop? I see now we've got um, uh, uh, Drizzle. No, that's Sprout. We've got Sprout digging also in the pink bunny rabbit. Okay, okay, looks like we're gonna have to slide this all out as one unit to take a look at it. Oh, okay, there we go. We can look at it on this side. Oh, that's so cute. It is, in fact, a coffee shop, and they've got a menu and a tip jar, a little takeout window, uh, presumably a door on one of the other sides. Uh, that is adorable, and it will be fun. The kittens love little cardboard boxes to play in, so it's good anytime. And it looks like there might be some extra... 
uh, parts going on here too. I can't imagine why we've got two separate pieces of cardboard flooring. So there must be some subtlety or maybe a second floor to the coffee shop. Maybe it's a two-story kind of building. Uh, there's definitely something going on here that's more than just a box. So that's going to be fun too. But we will save the surprise for later. Uh, if you want the surprise spoiled, I guess you can look at Smile Paws Coffee and probably find this. Can't imagine there's too many things on the internet that match that series of words. You never know these days. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, well, now I have to set this out of the way a little way. And Oh, this room's very crowded. Okay. So, thank you very much, Ionice. Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. We got a hole already in the box from the kittens. Okay, next. Uh, well, we'll just take whatever's on top here. Best little pet shop. Okay, it does not say in the return address who it's from. We're gonna switch to the real knife now. Much easier. Oh, okay. Uh, it looks like a bunch of cards for us. Oh, it's not. It's not a bunch of cards for us. This is so cute. Aw, wow, it is, um, this is so cute, bestlittlepetshop.com, okay, bestlittlepetshop.com, well, there's got to be a note somewhere in here that we will get to, but look at this, uh, it is, it, there's some sort of letters here that maybe we should take a look at to see what that's all about, but each of these is very cutely wrapped with um, a bit of twine, and it has... Uh, the, a paw print, the kitten's name, Squall, we've got here, and a little Kitten Academy logo that also has their name right in the middle of the Kitten Academy logo that you could put, say, on their collar if you wanted to. It would, they, these two are both used to wearing collars already. Uh, well, uh, Squall uh, was, I guess. Uh, we got Sprout here, Squall, Teaspoon, aw, oh, Teaspoon gets one. It says his name right in the little logo, the Kitten Academy logo. Uh, who else? Oh, Callie. Oh, that's adorable. Those, the little logo thing is uh, super cute. Drizzle, fantastic. Oh, there's some different ribbons. This one's got a, a like a striped uh, ribbon with little dashes there. A Wellingtons, ooh, and... Till. All right, Wellington Squall, you two can take yours with you, but you haven't worn collars in a while. We did have we did have collars on them at one point, didn't we? Or am I just remembering wrong? Oh, here's the note. Okay, perfect. Uh, which is bestlittlepetshop.com uh, uh, letterhead, and it says, Our friends at Kitten Academy, we love all the incredible work y'all are doing. We've loved watching your kittens grow up and head off on new adventures with their forever families. We are so grateful and inspired by folks like y'all and just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas from our family to yours. Happy Holidays from Anna, Flora, and team. Oh, wow. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, I feel like you had sent us, I mean, I don't, I don't remember uh, for sure, and I'm sorry, but um, someone that does this same kind of laser cutting sent us that lovely sign that's been in the front of our uh, house forever now, and um, I, I would assume that this is uh, the same kind of thing. So this is a note I see. So these, this is the same note cards that you used to write our note on, but these are all addressed. A note from Till's family. So there's a different letterhead for each kitten. We have a note from Till's family, a note from Drizzle's family, a note from Callie's family, uh, Teaspoon's family. Those are adorable. And uh, especially, uh, I mean, the, the whole thing is cute. So this is a Christmas tree ornament, as you can see. That's why it's got the, the loop on it. And a lovely bit of laser cut wood there. Um, and the tiny little laser cut logo uh, collar thing. Oh, you want yours right now, don't you? I almost could put theirs on right now, since they do wear their, these two wear their, these two, where's the other one there? Where, oh, she's got her same lobster. Oh, she just never gets over that thing, that poor lobster. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could take these out and put them on there now uh, for these two because they do wear their collars just all the time. That might be cute. But for now, I'm going to set these aside. Thank you so much, best, uh, bestlittlepetshop.com. That's easy to remember, too. What a great uh, 
domain name to have. <laughs> Wellington is going all in on this rabbit and the toys. That is wonderful. Oh, those are so pretty. Okay. The letterhead's cute, too. I'd, I'd like the adopters to be excited enough to, to use those to write. Uh, or maybe they could use them to write to us about how their kittens are doing after the fact. That could be super cute. So Anna, Flora, and the team, I suppose that's at Best Little Pet Shop. Uh, thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't know where to put this for now. I'll just put it in with the stuff, I guess. Because uh, I want to remember that later, I think. Okay. Don't eat my chocolate. You can chew on the box all you want, but you better not get into that chocolate. And not because it would be dangerous, but because it's mine. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Ooh. All right, we got a note right on top before we even see what's inside. Aw, a cookie. All right. Oh, oh wow, that sticker tore uh, right where the kitten no longer gets her cookie. Sadness. My cookie now, I guess. All right, uh, we have a giant uh, Christmas tree in the middle of a little village, and all the people have come out to decorate the tree and put their presents under it uh, and um, play with their animals. A lot going on there in the details. And then there's a note here that says it's believed the tradition of tree decorating began in 16th century Germany. Hope this Christmas brings you many merry moments. Love, an unreadable scrawl. I, re I really can't make heads or tails of that signature, but there's also a typed out note, so we'll be able to tell from that. Dear Dr. DJ and Mr. A, do you know what it is? Mewy Christmas. It's hard to believe another year has flown by and 2023 is almost over. I've been so incredibly busy with work and off work stuff, Christmas is coming in a month. Plus, we have our in-laws coming next week until after New Year's, then right after day, I'm going with my hubby and me to celebrate my grandmother's 100th birthday. It's amazing. She's very healthy, drives herself in time, and she does have a walker and a cane, but it's like she never really aged. Do you or DJ like to bake cookies for Christmas? Are there any special Christmas traditions at KA? I assume the folks get their Christmas treats and presents, right? And, of course, the humans. Uh, do we, you know, putting up the tree is, I guess, our Christmas tradition. And other than that, oh, you're starting to chew through this thing. Okay, I'm going to take the rest of that. Uh, thank you, though, for making sure that it was going to be easy for me to open, all right? Um, uh, Christmas traditions. Yeah, no, I mean, just the ones that we do online. We don't have any ones that are like our personal Christmas traditions, um, uh, really nothing, like nothing that we cook for Christmas. Or, uh, we, for Thanksgiving, we've always had a tradition, but this year is the first year that we broke that Thanksgiving tradition of making uh, this chicken with uh, a particular way that we roast a chicken, I guess. Uh, no big deal. Uh, and like I said, we didn't do that this year. So no, not really. We're not too big on tradition in general, uh, but DJ just loves Christmas, which is why we do it at all. So, Okay. Uh, I do like to bake cookies just in general, though. I don't need an excuse like Christmas to do it. Um, for us, I, as I mentioned before, my in-laws come down and visit us in Florida. The tradition is to put up the tree together and just be bums for the time they're here. We're not out planning to go to parties or do anything major. Because we are in Florida, they sell fireworks for people to light up on New Year's Eve and I think July 4th and possibly Christmas. Last year, my mother-in-law went and bought cute little sparklers to run around on the driveway with. Needless to say, we were in bed within about 30 minutes while watching everyone else's fireworks. We don't really go out a lot. I just went out to see a friend for dinner to hang out, and I was in bed by 11. That's enough excitement for me. I just don't do large crowds and noisy places. Yuck. Uh, yeah, I can relate to that, too. Um, we try not to. So, uh, yeah, it's ironic because whenever we find uh, a restaurant that we really like, it's often because it's not too busy and it's still got good food. But, uh, you know, the downside is if it's not too busy, uh, they often don't last very long. So it's a double-edged sword there. Also, Till seems to be playing with the camera cable, so hopefully she doesn't take us out. She may have done. I'm watching myself on the stream right now, and it just went to black and white and froze. 
and I probably did that for everybody else too, including our recording. So uh, I don't know exactly where I was on the card uh, when it went out. But your next question was, when will DJ be a full-fledged doctor? Um, I bet that is, oh, you probably heard me the whole time because that's a different camera, right? Okay, good. So you were just listening. You could probably see me from the ceiling camera because you can't take that one out. And I can't tell right now if it's, no, it's not frozen. Okay. All right. So I think we're back. <laughs> um, okay. When will DJ be a full-fledged doctor? I bet that's something everyone will celebrate. She must have a tiny stethoscope somewhere, like a pin perhaps? Hmm. Anyway, on to the items. Uh, okay, uh, the items. Oh, I lost track of the fact this was even a box. So, uh, yeah, so DJ will be a full doctor. Uh, this, she's, we're, we're coming up um, towards the... This is the middle of her second to last year. So we have a year and a half, and then she will be a full-fledged doctor. Um, and uh, until then, she's a fellow, which is, you know, if you went to a hospital and saw a fellow, they would just be a doctor too, uh, even a resident, you know, is a doctor. Uh, but she's done with her, you know, like training and not getting paid <laughs> in a year and a half. That'll be nice. So, uh, on to the items. Okay, toys, treats, and food are all to use as you see fit. Please enjoy it with good intentions and yummy tummies. Love, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Everybody's getting a chance with Callie's uh, kick funny, I see. Okay, good. Oh, we have the greenies treats right up front. DJ loves to give these out. Uh, she gives out treats every morning. And then uh, we've got, oh, extra tissue paper to make a big tissue pit. Um, that's uh, very, well, it could be Christmas, could be Italy, nobody knows. We've got some cute little Christmassy uh, snowman and some packages and these three little mice that are the kinds that kittens love to play fetch with that have Christmas patterns on them. This one's got Christmas lights. Well, this one's sort of abstract and this one's got like a definite Christmas print on it. And uh, where is... Uh, this is Sprout again, so where's Drizzle? Drizzle? That's Till. I hear somebody back there, I think. Well, when she turns up, I'm going to try throwing one of these and see if I can get her to, to love something other than that poor lobster. My goodness, it's been through so much. Uh, okay, I'll keep those right there for now. Okay, so we also have some uh, some packages and a snowman. We have little shakes uh, that are like a liquidy cat treat blended with a little coconut milk. Oh, we have salmon... Um, roasted chicken, uh, oh, and little grill grillers as well, seared cuts with tuna and uh, with chicken. Those will be yummy. I love that all of the treats and yummies that you sent are for the kittens. That is the best. Uh, we have a gingerbread house and gingerbread man. We have a lickable bisque treat. Those are very yummy. I mean, I, not that I've tried them, not that I haven't. Uh, we don't need to talk about that. We have Fancy Feast Chicken uh, Classic Pate. The kittens are going to love a chance to have some more of that. And Sheba. Ooh, uh, savory chicken and delicate salmon. So that is wonderful food for the kittens, and I think that's great. And I'm going to use your box to store that in for the moment. There we go. All the foods can go right back here. There we go. And the toys I'm going to put over there. Oop. Nice separation. Okay. And, okay, put that right over yonder. Ah, yonder, there's a good word. Okay, here we have a uh, box that has traveled a long way to get to us and is covered still with little cat stickers that say cat and meow. And it's got enough tape that we're going to have to open it this way, I think. Ooh, oh wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, we got it. There must be a note to find somewhere, but let's uh, dig our way to it. Uh, thanks again, Karen. Okay, this is, um, this looks like a set that has a fish and, oh, uh, just like a gingerbread fish. Gingerbread three pack, it's definitely a gingerbread fish. Uh, gingerbread man, gingerbread fish, and a little round gingerbread thing that I'm just going to say is a waffle because who could tell? 
so we also have a gingerbread stroopwafel there. <laughs> That's cute. We have the Garfield, a Garfield variety toy pack with all the usual suspects plus Garfield. Uh, this Mylar ball isn't Mylar. It's like a crinkly paper. That's a fun, different thing. Okay, we have uh, several, actually, of the Garfields. Ooh, and another. Oh, a lot. Okay, this is like one for everybody. Look at that. Uh, five, one, two, three, four, five. Well, I guess these are for the new kittens then, because there's six of them. And that's typically how I judge these things. Whoa! That sounded like a serenity hiss. Hey, hey, hey! Whoa! Hey! She doesn't want to play! Come here! Come here! Come here! Uh, I know that, um, uh, Drizzle here and Till sometimes get into it a little bit. They're not the biggest fans of each other. I can tell that Drizzle's trying to play with her, but Till is not having it. Let's see if she'll go for one of those mice instead. That should distract her. Okay, we've got the note. And the note has, oh, this is cool. This is a, a cat that's got a kind of a smirk going on and has his claws out wearing a Christmas hat. And it says Santa Claus. Uh, that's, that's a cool little uh, photo, too. Oh, you can't see it, though, because we've got a sprout in the way. There we go. It says to Mr. A and Dr. DJ, happy Christmas from Mr. S. To Mr. A and Dr. DJ, the cat toys are as you see fit. Also, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Well, thank you, Mr. S um, from Mr. A. All right, we've got the same first name. Uh, all right, we've got gloves and a candy cane. This also, this candy cane also looks like something you might go for. Let's keep trying. We've got to get you something. Here, try this one. What's this? Okay, we'll see. All right, uh, we have a beer, a Christmas pudding. I think it's a beer. Oh, it's like a Gatorade. It's like a can of Gatorade, a Christmas pudding, and a Starlight Mint. Um, that's that's a weird... I must be wrong about this Gatorade. Oh, it says La Meow, so it must be LaCroix water. But again, uh, I'm confused about the Christmas Association. If there is one, I don't know it. Not to say there isn't. Uh, but the Christmas pudding is adorable, and the Starlight Mint's not bad. And this is just confusing to me, but it's cute. It's even got a little pull tab on the top. I like it. Okay. We have <clears throat> these wands, the little short wands that have a, some sort of a weird penguin on them. Striped penguin feather teaser. Okay. Well, they didn't use the word weird, but otherwise I got it. And there's three of those. Uh, here's another set. This one has the same starlight mint, a different... Um, candy cane and a star, a big golden star that looks like he came straight out of a Mario game. There we go, super happy about it too. This one is a pizza and this one is a Sprite, uh, well, sort of a Sprite. It's got a lemon on it and they're kind of going for that feel, I think. That, that works, I, I, I get that one. And we've got some loose toys too. we got a couple of these Christmas trees with faces on them. And we got a couple carrots, tiny carrots with faces on them. Uh, I did see a package in the, the bunch here that said Carrot Palooza on it, but I, I don't now know which one it was. Wow, this guy's got his greens sewed into his side a little bit. All right, well, you know, he's, he came from the land of misfit toys, and the cats will love him just the same. <laughs> uh, so there we go. Plus, we have two... Reindeer! Oh, cute little reindeer. Again, with the stuff that might work for Drizzle, if we could just convince her to try one. Driz, I see you sitting right there, causing trouble again. I managed to land that right in front of her, too. Okay, let's put these all in the same box of toys real quick. This will make uh, great. These could each go one for the endowments for the little kittens, like I said. Oh, that'll be perfection. Okay, and then all of these as well. Thank you, Mr. S. Okay. Oh, oh. All right. Excellent. Um, good. I think everything there went where it belonged. More or less. No, oh, what's this? This doesn't look like something. Um, trying to figure out what I need to open still. This looks like it needs to be open. This looks like it needs to be open. This looks like it's been done. This looks like it's been done. 
Okay, let's see what this shiny package is. Uh, oh, Hell's Dells. All right, wow, very shiny package from you this time. Let's see if we can get this open without too much damage to the contents. Ooh, okay, oh, this looks very Christmassy, and there's a note right on top. These are so cute, little Christmas cracker toys. Uh, <laughs> They've got little smiley faces on them and a little bit of like a corduroy in the middle that's nice. Uh, okay, Christmas crackers. Hi, Chris, DJ, cats and kittens. A few Christmas catnip toys for deployment and some more Christmas chocolate. Love Hell's Dells. All right, Hell's Dells, let's see. The Christmas crackers are adorable. Oh, oh, these are fun. Look at that. These are little tiny mice wearing Christmas pajamas and long feather tails. Uh, in green and red. I can tell those are going to be a hit for whoever gets them. I wonder, I'm going to put one in my pocket to bring up to, um, I don't, might as well put one of these in too, to bring up to um, Cal after mailbag. There we go. I think that, she, I know she likes chasing that feather toy around and I wonder if she would entertain herself with something that, like, this seems so flingable, like she could grab it and throw it around like Loganberry does with his toys. Oh, another card. Ooh, and winter fondants. Little mints. Oh, wow, those look very good. After eight mints. Yum. Okay, let's see here. Oh, Merry Christmas. And it's a bunch of cats sitting in front of their Christmas chicken with Brussels sprouts, a big plate of Brussels sprouts. I know the cats are going to love. And their Christmas crackers, which have not yet been opened, yet they're all wearing the hats already. Uh, somebody cheated, but that's okay. To DJ, Chris, faculty, cats and kittens, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Hell's Dells, of course. How cute. Uh, these are all things that I, I would have just no idea about Christmas traditions um, because, uh, you know, my family did a big Christmas every year, but we did, again, I, I guess I wasn't raised with a lot of traditions, so, you know, I was confused about what a Christmas pudding was the first time I saw one. And the Christmas crackers were something that I was never really exposed to before. Um, but I'm learning this stuff slowly but surely, you know. Uh, and then there's one more thing in here. Ooh, oh, an orange arrow bar. I did not know this existed. This is going to be a terrible thing for me to find out. Wow. Um, I don't think we have arrow bars here at all, but I have uh, seen them often in the past. I think we had them here for like one hot minute and they didn't take off, so we don't have them anymore. Or maybe we do, and I just don't ever see them. Uh, but it's basically foamed chocolate, and this one is foamed orange chocolate, and it's got to be whoa, uh, really yummy orange chocolate. Okay. Uh, Hell's Dells, thank you so much for all of that. Okay, we'll put these over here with the other candy. My mouth is watering, making it hard to do mailbag. We did hit our time for mailbag here. It's 11 o'clock. And uh, let's just open one more thing since it's right here and otherwise I might accidentally pick it up with the stuff that's got to go. Or it has this, no, it says, okay to read on air. This might just be a note. Uh, let's, um, I don't have anything to open it with, it. including my finger. I can't even figure out where the seam is. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's try this. Okay to read on air, good. Ah, it's an envelope in an envelope. You guys must work for Amazon. Okay. Ooh, it's thick, though. It's got something going on in here. What on earth? Oh! Oh, now that's clever. Did you do that? This is just a little ring that was put on top to protect the uh, three-dimensional part of this card so it wouldn't get crushed. Very smart. So for this, we have um, a bow that stands up with a little high with a little bell on it that is super cute. And then like a, a drost effect. Uh, drost? Drost? I don't know going on here with this spiral and the kitten in the middle, this repeated spiral. Oh, it says handmade for you. Okay, so I guess you did come up with this idea uh, and the entire card as well. Uh, it's very cool the way this is like um, like an iris on a camera. What do you call that? Um, uh, aperture. Uh, there's, a, there's another word I'm looking for though. Well, I'm not gonna think of it and it's, uh, it's really pretty, and it says, Happy Holidays to all at Kitten Academy from Paula VAPS. Look for Callie on the front. Oh, it is Callie then. I see it is a little calico, and it does look like her. Adorable. Uh, I really like this um, iris shutter uh, drost effect thing. Um, that's, that's pretty cool, the little spiral. 
very nice card, and I have to put that right up there so the kittens don't chew it up, I guess. Uh, or put it with all the others over there. Uh, all right, that is going to be our mailbag. This, I'm going to, um, what I've been trying to do is save these boxes with uh, your note in it, and then when the adoption happens, I try to find this and put it right back in the box, uh, which I've been successful doing for several mom cats now. So let's keep that up for Callie. There you go. But this I'm going to stick in my pocket. I've got a giant inside pocket. So we're just going to, wow, I feel like a back alley uh, crochet salesman, knit uh, salesman, crochet. That's crochet. I got this. Um, yeah. Hey, hey, buddy. You want to buy a rabbit? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, to everybody, and like I said, we'll do Christmas again tomorrow at 11, and then sometime on Christmas Day. I'll ask DJ what time's going to be good for her, and I'll let you know tomorrow. Meanwhile, let me get this packed up. I'm going to turn off this microphone, turn on the regular bad microphone, and uh, we'll, well, we'll get it done. So, thank you, everybody. in the box instead of the one just outside the box, but they're probably pretty equivalent, right? Okay. Let me go put the mic away and on the charger before I forget so it won't be dead tomorrow, and then I'll come back and take care of the rest of this. But that I'm going to do right away before I can forget. You know how that works. heavy boxes are nice. I can use them to prop these other boxes up. Well, we've got plenty to get through tomorrow. I think we're going to have plenty to do on Christmas Day as well. Thank you guys so much for being generous. already, huh? <clears throat> I said I was going to take this all upstairs so I would have to put things away. That's exactly what I'm going to do.
All right, well, this is going to end the archive, but I think you need to see. Oh, hi. How did you even get in there? Too silly. You gonna play too? I know you guys are so deprived of real toys. You have to play with cardboard boxes now. I know. All right. Well, I thought that was cute. Thanks so much, everybody, for mailbag. Uh, when I end this, that's gonna end mailbag. So. <sighs> All right, that's Squall, folks. <laughs>